Hello everyone, it's Joseph Cross here. I want to speak about a possible petition I might do. Now, I did this petition three years ago, and I thought of it, and it's like, you know what, this is so stupid anyway. Uh, because it's not, it's not going to get to this point where, you know, America's not going to become this bad. But it's corrupt, but it has now. And thinking about doing this petition now, after all, as many of you know, in Portland, Maine, there's a, uh, a diner called, was it Marcy's Tiny Diner? M-A-R-C-Y... Marcy? Yes. Marcy's Diner. And, um, the woman, uh, the owner of this diner, you know, as people are, when, when someone comes in, they're rowdy and crazy, um, they ask them to leave. Now, I've seen this happen a few times now where people are afraid to ask someone to leave. There's a place here called Mountain Mike's Pizza here in Chino. Um, and it's amazing to see how rowdy and dangerous the place gets when a couple of uh, uh, people come in. There was a, some, a Mexican family and their kids were screaming and yelling having a tea party for a birthday. And they ran into me three times and my fiance a couple times. And I had to tell them, hey, stop, go sit down. And it was just amazing that they allowed so much chaos in there with the screaming and the yelling and ordering the pizza and asking them to repeat when the whole restaurant's empty. There's only this one little group there, and they're that loud and obnoxious and drunk and chaotic. It's, and the thing is, they're from Mexico, so they act like this is Mexico. And people are afraid to ask them to leave or ask them to calm down or ask them to keep their children under control, like what human beings do. Human beings keep your kids in control. And what's strange is people say, well, they're kids. Exactly, they're kids. They're not little monkeys. They're not, you know, they're not apes. You don't want to. You don't want to teach them that that they're not humans and that they're animals in order to climb up the walls and climb over the tables and and all that crap and touch other people's food and stuff. You don't do that. Not because this is America and the United States, but because you're a human being in human skin. You act like it. You're a parent. You act like it. You know. You raise your children. You don't get drunk and then let them run amok everywhere and let them get themselves in trouble and danger and. Uh, be rude to other people there and offend other people. You don't do that. So, well, you've seen that here in Mountain Mike's. I've seen it in Bakersfield at a restaurant out there, uh, where these kids were on the hand on the uh, the gate and climbing, and then kept running to my seat, and I had to ask them to stop. And the family looked at me like, "How dare you?" It's like, "How dare you treat us this disrespectfully?" You know. But uh, the thing is, is it looks like we actually are going to need a law that says that these owners of businesses aren't allowed, and not just allowed, but you know, they're not just allowed to use their constitutional right to ask someone to leave, but it may have to be enforced as far as if they're being this loud and their liability issue and they're running into people and they get hurt other people or hurt themselves, then you have to ask them to leave because of the liability issues, you know? Uh, because people are so afraid of asking people to leave. They're afraid of Yelp reviews, they're afraid of some type of laws or some type of uh, discrimination thing. Like there, we have a lot of illegal um, aliens here, um, a lot of Mid-Easterns, Mexicans, and Indians here um, from India, not, you know, American, Native American, because I know someone heard that, they're like, oh, I'm going to try and slam them on that. So I thought I'd clear that up and make it very clear. Um, so uh, they're, they're just afraid to speak to anyone, you know, and ask anyone to act like a human being now because of the outlash and the liability issues that would come in uh, with uh, the whole court thing. It's like, oh my gosh, this child did this and did that and was yelling profanity and ran to this guy and making him drop his drink and, uh, you know, uh, a glass of beer fell on the child's head after the child ran and hit this guy without looking where the young man was going. And you know what? It's because they asked us to leave because we're black. White privilege! Because that's the way we're going nowadays. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. But I'm thinking that we might have to make a petition on this or as far as uh, maybe a bill or a law to send our local congressmen and congresswomen. Uh, it's difficult because we have people out there like Norma Torres who believe that, you know, if you're Mexican, then all, no laws or anything apply to you at all anymore. You get all privileges and everything. So it's, it's going to be difficult here in California. You know, to to get something like that to uh, to to pass with we you their own representatives, but I I really do believe this needs to be uh, you know uh, congressional 
uh, not just within the California Assembly, but a congressional bill. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about it. I want to I want to see what you guys have to say. Um, that's all. Thanks for oh, and just so you know, the thing at Marcy's Diner. Um, these people had a child who was screaming and yelling and screaming and yelling. It was a two-year-old, and they would not leave. They would not get the child under control. Um, they were not being parents. So when the um, owner finally had enough and asked them to leave because they were bothering all the other customers, these people got very offended at the, um, the fact that the owner was tired of them offending everyone in the restaurant and being obnoxious and loud and not being human. You know, and it's a real shame. Uh, but uh, I'd really like to get this place, Marcy's Diner, my business. Actually, my fiance and I were just talking about we should go over there sometime across the country just to go there and get something to eat just to show our support. Because God bless that woman for, you know, acting like a human being and finally asking someone to get the hell out of the restaurant, the establishment, where it's a place to relax and enjoy your food. If you have a two year old who acts like that, screams like that, don't be selfish and go out to a place anyway and have them ruin your day along with everyone else's just because you want revenge on the world. Keep the kid home and eat at home. You're a human being. You have common sense. Use it. Let me know what you think about a proposal for a bill to allow, or not even allow, but even enforce um, a regulation or a law of some sort that says that uh, if there's liabilities in your restaurant and it's that chaotic that they need to act on it. People get too drunk, you stop serving them at the bar. You know, why? It's a liability issue. It should work with, with the same way with everything else. All these people are entering our, our country and acting like it's a third world country and we are starting to have to adapt to them of what they want. Not, not anymore. This shit needs to stop. Thank you.